Um, can you read this word for me? This is koji akeru. Perfect. Koji akeru. So koji akeru basically means to open something, but to open it in a way that you're not really supposed to open it. So this would be um, picking the lock or prying the door open, anything like that. You're opening it, but you're not opening it with the key that goes in there. You're either taking it off its hinges, or like I said, you could also pick the lock. I would still be koji akeru, as long as you open it without the proper, what you're supposed to do to open something, um, both are okay for it. Um, oh, what is, how do you read this bolded word? Yoru. Hi, yoru. How about this one? Omo Hi, omori. What is a omori? A stack of. That's a good guess. A You're thinking about kasanaru. Kasanaru, which does have the same omoi kanji up here. But in this case, it's kasa. So it makes sense why you'd assume all you see are D. That's probably a eifikaiing of a verb. But omoru, the verb, which is to get heavy, whatever. Uh, when it becomes omori, this is actually a weight, like a physic, like a weight that you would do do um, exercise with. Give an idea. That's what it is. So here it says, um, if you put some chain and you spin it all around somebody and you attach a weight to it, well, after that you can just go throw them into the river. That's all you got to do. Contextually, it's saying what the Lord of Twilight does to people who annoy him, I believe. Omori, weight, a weight. Can you read this word for me? Hi is the second kanji. The hi, first hi is, is <clears throat> the number, number or to count, which is yes. shokai. Su, su, from suji, right, for number. Suji. Sukai. Hi, sukai. Yep, so sukai means several times, because kai is revolution, a time in which something occurs, basically, and su is a undefined number, basically, sukai, several times. Um, What did koji akeru mean? Koji akeru is to open something in a non, in a way that it was not made to be opened. Perfect. That's exactly what it means. Um, do you know how to read this word? Naka Naka ga, no. These are little eyes lit. Yes, little that is what that is. That is in the true. Middle of an... It's naka is so... correct. But then the next part is su. Naka su. Naka su. 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 Which I okay, so it's the middle Nakatsu. Hi, Nakatsu, Nakatsu. Little River Islands. Mm. How about this word mm. over here? This is Chu in Chu 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 Ang Chu Ang, or it could be Naka. It's Chu O. So you write with the Chu, but then it's O afterwards. Chu Do you know what Chu O means? the center yes it does mean the center perfect so nakasu is the river islands chul is center how about this word right here this estate mansion word um, an estate is something oku right it yeah, is oku. Oku. that's a good guess this is hey like from yasuragi tei State word. Okay. Do, do, do. This guy. So it becomes teo. Um, so in this case, it's um te taku. Because you're, you said oku because you were thinking about otaku. <laughs> this is the way I said okay that. But uh this right here is taku. Because it's o um taku for um house. So te taku is our mansion. Um 
So it's the mansion that stands in the middle of the river yeah. island. So one words. Okay. So here is a line from the book. Let's go read it. Akebo no guy ni wa at the Don district Yoru ni Sukai numerous evening Kin Mochi no Ie no This is a lock, so it's Jo. Uh, jo is this kanji uh, boop, with the setting uh, radical in it. This one has a uh, radical, looks so more like a key, doesn't it? This is a building then. Oh, uh, no, it's key. So it's not... oh, I think it's it does probably look key, like so that. Ka kagi. Yes, kagi? kagi. It is kagi. Ie no kagi o. Ie no kagi o kochi akete. And then this is a thief, which is dorobo, but it's not dorobo. It's it is the else. act of thieving to steal. So this is domi, domi, or Nusumi. some other word. Uh, the kanji is Nus totally different from dorobo. Dorobo. Is this nusume? Nusume. Nusumi ni ita. Or haita. Um, in this case, it'd be haita. Haita to enter, it, right? Yes, to enter. To enter haita. It into haita koto, koto shi kanai. Hi. So this one right here, you read as kin mochi. Do you have a second idea how to read this? Kane mochi. Hi, kane mochi. What does kane mochi mean? I actually haven't taught that word. But it's a pretty common word, so I don't know why I didn't think about it. Hi. It's to have and money. What does that mean? To have money is to be wealthy. Exactly. Kane mochi is to be wealthy. So here, this sukai, I guess it is several times in the night. Never mind. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what is this saying? Is it several times in the night, Monday? Or is yeah, it several, several times nights? in the nine? You um Haita koto. Haita koto. You enter into the thing you enter into, or many thieves have entered into. Mm. Shikanai, it's like shikanai, isn't that meaning like try to? Um, but it probably sounds like try to, but um, shika means except for, and nai means nothing. Uh, not so except for not so shikanai means there's like nothing else except for doing that. Is what it means. So there's nothing out except for the act of thieving. Hi. There's nothing to do but to to steal. Is that what it say? Does kanemochi no ie o no kagi o hojiakete mi? Start there. So here's the tab form is two actions to break locks or to break to break the lock into the house with money or with those with money and to steal from them to enter and to steal. So he's saying here that in this district, there are so many wealthy buildings or so many wealthy houses that there is nothing to do but to just break into them and to steal. Yeah, that's that's really what it's saying. You could break in a bunch of houses in the night and steal stuff. Um, Hi. Let's go read this sentence next. Uh, here it say, Ima hatte iru basho kara wa Werumeto no ma jutsushi tachi ga sunde iru kawa no naka su mo miwata seta 
Mi wa staseta is to look across. Hi. No, it's not. No, mi watasu is Watasu a look is across. to, It's to bring your eye to and look bring across. it all across a location to see a bunch of stuff, to survey. To survey. Mi wataseta. So here, imatatte iru basho karawa from the from the position here standing from this current position um mi wa taseta i can see it's it's possible to see or i i can see those who are living i can also Those who are also living in the, in the uh, So inlets. these mo and this ga are, uh, it is confusing, right? This ga is part of the verb sundeiru, right? So that makes this right here into a relative clause. So the thing that you're miwatasiruing is the nakasu. I am looking across at. I can also see the island, the, the the small piece of dirt in the middle of the river, right, right. where the magicians, the water ma magicians are living. Hi. And where can we see this? Are residing. Can we see this on the bottom of the hill? Like where where are we seeing this? He's seen it from the place that he's currently standing at. The basho Okay. that is tate -yu. Um, do you know how to read this word? A branch, right? Or an It oak looks like an a branch, oak. but it is not eda. Eda looks like this. They're very similar. I agree. This word means E large eda. building, and it's pronounced the same way as tower. And that's the same way as the tower. So it's a. What is it? Takai? No. That's a good guess. This is coal. Um, coal, mo, which mo, looks like this mo. to mean large building and looks like this to mean tower. So, kono to kara, mujimeru to shio. Why don't we start from this tower? Nazu wa watashi no shosai. First, we'll do my office. Onoto, this large building first. So it's kind of like tower, but specifically it's just large building. So it's not just for towers. Um, can you read this word? Um, ni, a thin, a thin. This is an adjective to mean thin. So it's, or details, details. Mm -hmm. So thin, I think, is what it's No, using for I here. don't But say you're right, that can ah, mean boy, details. no. Hosoi, yes. Perfect. A thin, a thin, also. Right. Yep. So let's go read this example sentence. Sono hosoi to wa machutsu daigaku ko da. That. Thin Tower is the magician university. Daigaku. The university. Right. The academy. So The Daiga Technical Academy. Academy is better in this context. You're right that um uh that uh college is Daigaku, but the ko after an makes it just into academy. So what do we know about this uh magic academy? It is a this magic academy is the thin building. Hi, The thin perfect. building is the magical academy. That's exactly what it says. I want to see what the heck is this picture of? Oh, it's a refresher picture of kanji. Okay, I guess we don't need you slideshow. Okay, what is this word right here? It's tower, tall. 
Oh, power. Hi, perfect. Oh, Do you know what Soviet means from Soviet? Soviet. Ipai, Soviet. Ipon. Totally different kanji. Niwa no juo niwa kuroi eda no saiboku ga ipon sobite ita. I There's a tree in the middle of the garden. Right. Niwa. In the middle of the Niwa, there stand a large black tree or branch. Hi. And it's one so be at the ita. I don't know, Mommy. Right. Soviet yeah. means to tower over something, to be tall. What is this Ipon telling us? Ipon. One tower. Mm, it, it is saying one. one. So Ipon is a counter. So in a way, it is very similar to a adverb, but quantifiers are actually not officially adverbs. They're in their own grammatical category. So ipon is not really describing the verb. This ipon is actually describing the subject, which is taiboku. How many trees are in the garden? One tree that's towering over. That, the that's garden. all saying. There is only one tree that is towering over everything. So there's not a bunch of trees towering over because Japanese doesn't have that pluralization. So instead, they use the counters type of thing to let you know. Pon is a kind of long, uh, skinny object type of idea. So it also kind of makes you see that this tree is not probably a fat, like bush like tree. It's some kind of probably skinnier type of thing like this, be kind of what I would picture with the ipon. But I think pon in general is probably used for trees. Um, yeah, the. Yep, it's a tree with black branches that's towering over everything in the garden. It's just one of those trees. Uh, hey. Can you read this word for me? Ho nagai. Hi, hoso nagai. Hoso. Which hoso. is long hoso and narrow. How do you read this kanji? Ho. Perfect. Ho. Let's go read this example sentence. Daikina. Nakasu ni wa oki is okina okina nakao su ni wa oso nagai toga sobieru a thin long tower towering over uh in the on the uh inlets on the large inlets or Thank island. You. Yep. Uh, in island. this case, it's uh, just in the large river island. There is a tower that is long and skinny, and it is towering over everything. It's funny how English uses the word I... towering over like that. Um, can you read Let's this word for see. me? Gakko. Gakko. School. School. Can you read this word? Dai gakko. Perfect. A Which, what does that mean? No, daigaku is emergency. Okay. Daigaku is college. This is daigaku. Different word. Very similar though. Daigaku. Uh, daigaku means an academy. Yes, it means an academy. Can you read this word for me? Kodai. We haven't. Kodai. Seen... Yes, it is kodai, which means humongous, large, big. Let's go read this example sentence. Humongous. Nakatsu ni tatte iru majutsu daigakko wa kyodai da. Majutsu daigakko wa kyodai da. Natsu ni tatte iru. Standing in the middle of the rivulet. Is a large academy. Magical Academy. Humongous. Humongous. Can you read this word academy. for me? Ueri, not ueri. That's a really good guess. You're right that that kanji can be read as ue. 
as its non-married reading. The non-married reading of the kanji below is nagasu, which means to flow. But here it's being pronounced as ryu, which is a married reading. So we have to make sure these two are married to each other. So since this is ryu, any idea what the married reason of ryu is? Yes. Joel. Joryu. If if nagasu means to flow, what do you think joryu means? Joryu is to um overflow. That's a really it? good guess. That's very logical and would make sense. In this case, it's actually talking more about the location where something is flowing. So this is actually what we would call in English upstream. Joryu. The upper area of flowing, upstream. Hi, yeah, uh, the upper flow. Hi, which is the upper. Uh, I... How do you read this word? Uh, kyodai. Kai kyodai. How about this one? Nakasu. Perfect. How about Nakasu. darkness night bridge? Yami yo bashi. Perfect. Yo. And. This word started with Joel. What did it end with? Ryu. Perfect. What does Joryu mean? Joryu is the upper stream. So upstream. Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Yami yo bashi no ue uh, Joryu no naka su no uchi. ジョリユの中州の内一番大きな中州には細細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い細長い
Ngi. Ngi. Ya. Ngi. Ngi. Ga. Ga. Ngi. Ngi. Kangi. So this word right here, this kanji is read as to. 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 It's like a, like a large space. Like a, yes, uh, that is the large space toll. A hall is the English word, even though we do not use that anymore. Because when we hear hall, we think of a school hall, which is the hallway. But that's not what this word means. This is a ballroom hall. It's a big empty space, this like a uh, church room or a gym or a any kind I, of hall that you would see in, in uh, pseudo, flu. How do you read this word? It's the majutsu toll. I majutsu toll. The magic spell hall oh, room. Um, can you read this example sentence for me? Majitsu shi tachi no kai ni jo wa majutsu to ni aru. To ni aru. Ni aru is there is aru is the verb to mean there is. There is a magical hall at the meeting uh, place. Particles again. Um, sorry, what is this? This ni, ni is is like it marks the locations, right? Right. Yep, it marks a location so, because Adu is existing. There, you end your existence right. at the location. So here the Kai Ni Jo, the, the meeting, the meeting, the meeting place is at the magical hall. The hi, hall hi. is where the meeting will take place. Exactly. And this is the meeting of the magicians. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Gang Becky. Becky right. is Gang a wall. Becky. It is a wall. Gang and Gan like means shore. A... Um shore. So Gan Becky so is a wall a... at the shore. AKA it is a cliff. Specifically a cliff that there should be ocean water, right? Because we're at a shore. So so, so it's not like a cliff in the woods, right? That'd be a gake. Um, gake, gake, gake. But so specifically, it's the this cliff, seaside cliff. Gan I think it's called like a quay or something. We let's go read this example sentence. I don't. I don't. I'm like you should know how to read this. No. Money. Becky mean wall, right? So this is a yes. man-made wall. Or it means. It doesn't have to be. Like Okay, so it could be a natural formation. So it could be a cliff. Hi. Uh Gangbeki ga ishi de de kite iru. Uh the cliff, the sea cliff, is made of rocks. Perfect. That's exactly what it says. Ishi de de kite iru. Wow, so it's made of that. Can you read this word for me? Uh katameru. Perfect. So literally, if this means to strengthen, to harden something, here it's basically it's like to be built from, like to fortify something. Um, how do you read that kanji again? Kata, katameru. Perfect. What's the te form? Katamete. Hi, hi. Let's go read this example sentence. Majutsushi itachi wa. Gangbekyo Katameta. Uh the magicians uh, strengthened the sea cliff, the sea wall. Perfect. Yep, they fortified it. Boop, boop, boop. Uh so I want I passive like form, but not literally passive form, which is katame um gareru. I, I'm not looking for that form. I'm looking for the one where we actually don't care about who did it. Do you have any idea what form that is? The passive where we don't know who did it. Right. 
There's more than one passive form? Uh, it's not officially called passive form. It doesn't actually have a name. It's called the form in which you make it from. Like, it's named after. It's kind of like how te form, theoretically, is adverb form. But we don't say, oh, put the verb in adverb form, right? We, we don't really say that, even though we have tabit. Yeah, you do, right? That's just te form plus you do existing. We're describing the state of existing as existing in the state of eating. Um, but we call it te form. That's just the name of it, even though, like I said, it's adverb form. This word, right? This this form I'm looking for doesn't have a name. It's just called it after what it is. So if I said, oh, please do the blank form, you would be given it right away. So I just was curious if you remember it. Uh, this is um, te aru form. Yaru. That is passive form, but you don't care who did it. So, kata, kata me, kata me rare do, and um, kata me te aru have the same meaning in English. It's both is was the, the thing that was strengthened, strengthened right? But te aru means hey. we don't care who did that at all. We, we, we don't have, you would never have a me the person who did it who did it no knee so if you're talking about a sign that has ticks on it for example like a stop sign you're not going to say like ah uh kakarare teiru instead you would say saite aru when you're describing what's on the sign because no one cares who wrote the word stop on the stop sign it's not important yeah. uh, so that's what the teiru form is it means you don't care who actually did the action that caused the passive form to happen well passive form is used when you do care for what it but grammarly in english there's no real difference between the stop sign stop was written on the stop sign and the sentence stop was written on the stop sign so you see no real way to illustrate that difference um but i guess you say the stop was stop was written on the stop sign by the stop sign worker you could add the by there in English, and you go, oh, that one right there would need this word. This one doesn't take a me, right? Can't can't do that. So yeah, it's just yeah. teadu form. It's one the seeds would drug him up. Um, how do you read this word? Um, naka naka su. Right. And how do you read this one character from this word? Is ng ni. Yes, gi. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, let's go read this line from the book. Uh, tsuki ni ooki nakatsu wa the next large inlet uh, kanbeki ga ishi de uh, katamete atte uh, It's fortified um, with rocks, the sea seawall. Hi. Um. So now Khan is describing the the inlets that are not the tower, but the one Correct. next to it. In this context, um, it would make sense to assume it doesn't have to be, but it would be logical to assume with the word "tsugi." This is an assumption you can make. You know, is that there's we're talking about one more island rather than doing a category, right? We just said there's this one island here. The next island, the next biggest island, right? Sugini Oki Nakasu. Even though it doesn't say biggest there, just the next big island. Uh, so it, oh. it, it feels, it would be logical to assume we're talking about one more island rather than doing a, a whole category of islands. Um, it, it's definitely 100% possible. We could have two islands that are the exact same size that have all the same information here, but it would be weird. And not likely to occur. Grammarly, it's possible. Hi. 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 So it had a seawall that is fortified with rocks. Or with yes, with rocks, Ishide. Um and the next sentence or the next clause say Majutsushi Tachi no Kaingi Jo de Aru. Um Majutsu to ga tateiru. Um, and there stand the magical hall where the meetings of the magicians uh, is. 
they are is the okay. existent um verb yes there is a it meeting is there there it is the meeting in which this playing exists for yeah perfect do, do. Hi. um do you know what kita means kita means the north perfect the how about higashi higashi is to the east perfect how do you read this kanji kita perfect da. um how do you read this word? Uh, is te, te as in mansion? Or this nice. is the counter for mansion? Hi. Yatsuragi. It's the sign te. for mountain. Right. So let's go read the line for the mansion. Mansions is te saku. Not te oku, but te saku. Right, Mani? Uh... I don't know what tesaku you mean by that. Is the word for mansions? Oh, Te hey. uh, teitaku, yes. Teitaku. From otaku, right? Te otaku. When otaku, otaku is a loser that stays in their house, right? So that's, I... that's otaku. Um, um, and that's taku from teitaku. Which is te mansion. Um, so taku, uh, taku is a house. Te is hai. a big house. Hi, exactly. Taku, hi, hi. Okay. Um. So the reading is the genbun is neburi no yatsuragi te no aru nakatsu wa. Ichiban kita da. Kita da. Um, Wani, are you speaking? Hello, I I'm back. Be... I was gone and Hi. now I am back. It, it didn't tell you I disappeared. <laughs> Just like, do do do. Uh, pick me up <laughs> for a second. And I was like, had a little spinny wheel. And I was like, <laughs> hi. Hi, yes. You did a magic first, you did a magic trick. A magic trick. I disappeared. I quietad. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, here. um the sentence say that there is a mm, the inlets where um Neburi mentions is. Hi. Is the Ichiban is the one that is in the north. Hi. The northern we're, we're, one. The most northern one, yes. The most northern one. Ichiban, number one north. Can you read this word for me? Um, Harai no keru? Yep. Harai oh, no man, keru. Money, do you, do you want to record it, by the way? Uh, it's recording. It, oh, it, it paused and then we've been back. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, this harai is um to to wipe like Hai. a wiping action, right? To sweep the away action. Hai. Um, and no keru. no keru is like yeah, to no move something out of the way or like to dodge or something like that. Together, it means uh, to drive away, to basically say, "Get out of here!" Harai no keru. This is a Hoover. Away. Chase away, to ward away, okay. brush off, clean off. How do I know to do? What's the tef form? Uh, I, okay, so it's eru keru. Kete then. It's harai no kete. Harai no kete. Perfect. Um, do you know how to say innkeeper? Or shop clerk? Uh, ten, ten, ten is an in. Shu, tenshu. Or Hai, tenshu. tenshu. Perfect. Nice. Let's go read this example sentence. Hi. Um, Tenshu wa uh, jibun no kami, kami, hair. O hara no keta. Wipe away or to chase away. Yeah. The hair. Um, so the, the, the innkeeper, he, he wipes away his hair. Or exactly. He wipes off. away his own hair. Yeah. Uh, 
it's the literal meaning here rather than the more fanciful. Um, can you read this word for me? Meo korasu. Hi. Meo korasu is, yes, it is to squint. Perfect. What is the term for? Um, this is the sheet that form. So it's meo korasu. Hi, korasu. Funny, the kanji for ko, the korashi or the korasu. That ko is, um, do we know what karasu by itself means? We never, we haven't seen it by itself, but it means uh, to pane, uh, this kanji is to stiffen, to focus on. So to focus your eyes. Focus, karasu. I see. Karasu, Hi. Hai. Da. Let's go read this line from the book. Karasu, karasu, Hi. Um, so this is the, the tama, or no, this is not the head, but like the face. Kao. Kao. Kao ni kakata. Mm. Kami o. So the hair that is like covering his face. Right. Uh, harai no ke. He's wipe it away. Um, and then he, he, uh, me o korashite. He's, he's like focusing. He's squinting his eyes so you can see perfect and then how do you read this word uh kai ni jo, which is like a meeting a meeting perfect. place and how about this one this one is um is jo for like upper and then mm -hmm. ryu for river flow so it's upstream hi so do you jo you know what egurareta means Eguru. To tower over. To Good guess. That's sobi edu. Very similar. So be do. Uh, no more. No more kanji from Mung. Eguru edu. Eguru totally different meaning. No, no similarity at all. Oh, kiku. Hi. Eguru edu. Yoni na teiru ka. Sono ryohashi ni wa. Um, this is describing the appearance of Yasuragite, where we have the Ryogawa are still here, but the Mannaka of the Yashiki has an Okiku Egorareta no Yoni. Hmm. Uh, it's like disappear. Well, no, no, no. That's not what it meant. It's um, like someone step on it. Close, close. There was a story about a rock being dropped in here. The ego to do is another metaphor going on here, talking about scooping out. Like if you got an ice cream scoop and you just kind of scooped out the middle of the um, mansion, is what it's saying. So ego to do is to hollow out, to scoop out. To hollow out. Ego So that's Most the passive out. form. To be hollowed out rather than to hollow out. So here, regu redu is related to that, but um, it's the one that takes but, ja rather than whatever. Honey, is this yeah. a verb for like sh shoveling, shoveling dirt, right? So you shovel, you dig your shovel in and you scoop it out. I assume so. Okay. okay. Yes. Egu. Um, any idea what Arehateru's te form is? So, teru? Mm hmm Tete. Hi, Arehateru. Do you know what Arehateru means? Are... Um, this looks like a storm of some sort. Like it a, is. Like it a it does come from storm. Violent. Arehateru means to fall into ruin, to be desolated. To be as if a violent thing happened to you. Um, hateru is kind of like the result. The result is violent. Are hateru. Um, Hi. So what did egureta mean? It's the scooping. Mm, hi, 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 hi. Perfect. Let's go read the example sentence. Hi. Yasuragi te no manaka ga in the middle of the Yasuragi mansion. Um, there's a large uh, hollow. There's... 
Perfect. it is eggata. Uh, okiku here is a adverb Hai. from the ku ku. Perfect. Um, And yasuragite is a noun that is turned into an adjective. hi. And egureta here is the um passive form meaning that it it was it happened to it. Basically, it's the transitive and transitive pair type of thing, which is basically the same kind of idea with the ga versus bo oh, done to itself. Um, you know what kaburitsuku means? Kaburi suita. Kabu is like a hat or something. That's a good guess, but this is a verb. Kaburitsuku. Let's see what the context say. It say chizu o asande. Something about the cheese uh, Ore wa being sandwiched. Asande is to 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 sandwich something, and then on top of sandwiching it, he kaburi suita. Um, he squeezed it into his mouth. That's a good guess. Kaburi tsuku is tsuku to attach and kaburi to bite. Uh, so kaburi tsuku in English would be to sink your teeth into something, to bite into. Kaburi tsuku. Nice. I So he. spread jam onto the muffin, put cheese in the middle, and I sink my teeth in it. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hasande. Cheese in the middle. Uh, nori is to spread. Hai nori. Nuri, spread jam, mm -hmm. sandwich, insert the cheese, right. and then sink my teeth. Kaburi suita. Says, I it. Delicious. This is also a way to say bite. Can you uh, read it for me? Uh, it say here. Uh, kamitsuku. Hi, kamitsuku. This is also to bite. This bite is not used when biting into food. This is more like to bite at somebody, like the kind of go like pomp at them or whatever, or um, a snap at somebody if they're being metaphorical or something. What is the passive form of kamitsuku? Passive is, um, so what is the active kamitsuku? So passive would be kamitsu kareru. Hi, kareru. Perfect. Can you read this example sentence for me? Niku ga dorobo ni kamitsu kareta. We said a kamitsu kareta was to 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 bite something. Yeah. Right, Mani? Yes. Hi. Hi. Uh, so the thief took a bite. Well, it wasn't the thief took a bite. The meat was bitten by the thief. Exactly. That's what it's saying. This is a little bit weird as meat would normally mean you're going to be eating it. So you wouldn't really use kami. This would be more like if he's biting something he shouldn't eat, like someone's arm. <laughs> Any kind of, but I, it, it, I mean, it, it, it is, I guess, use, it just is talk about taking a bite out of it rather than like, Nomming. Um, in this case, I think it is going to be saying taking a bite out of cake. So I guess it does work for food, it's just not as common. Do you know how to read this word? Uh, kyo, kyojin. Okay, kyojin. Do you know what a kyojin is? It's like a giant. It is a giant. Perfect. Can you read this example sentence? Kyojin ga muffin o. Mm. Kami Hi, kami Perfect. What does this mean? It means the giant is he um he bites the muffin. Yes, he bites the muffin. Very aggressive, so rude. Um, let's go read this example sentence. The example sentence is Manaka ga okiku 
エグレタ、ヤツラギテは、So regarding the ヤツラギ mansion that was hollow out with a large hollow in the middle,、uh, it's kyo jin ni, kyo jin ni ka, ga, ガブリト。ガブリトガブリト。サウンドフェクト。あ、ガブ。ガブ。トゥクガブオブ。そう、ガブリト、カミツカレタ、ミテダ。It seems as if it looks like a giant had gobble a bite.、Uh, From the middle of、um, the Yatsuragi Te.、Hi. So, Gaburi makes... is very similar to Kaburi, which is more like gobbling up. But Gaburi is more just kind of like making it into an aggressive bite, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to put that in English. So, the thing I was talking about cake is that the English version talks about cake. There's no cake in the Japanese version. He, he just he takes a、it. bite at it. c h o m p That is a perfect way to describe the gabu. Exactly. He took a chomp out I, of it. Perfect. It.、Um, do you、mm-hmm. know what oitsuku means? Oitsuku is the catch up. Hi. How about oitsu- oikakeru? Oikakeru is what's caught up by something else. It's the、yeah. opposite.、Um, both of these mean to、um, chase with the intent of catching up, but oitsuku lets you know you have basic, like, it's like、uh, the idea is that you've already arrived, while kakeru is focusing more on the beginning of the action. So here you've attacked yourself after you've chased after them. So you're basically going to be right next to them. Well, oikakeru would insinuate you're a little bit farther in the back while everybody else is over there. You still have, you have not yet. Hit them. The focus is in the beginning, while tuku, the focus is at more at the end. um Doesn't really matter. They both mean、oh. you catch up, basically. But this is focusing before you catch up, and this is focusing after. um So, suku is to attach, and kakeru is when you initiate. Yes. So, let's go read、you、the sample set. I mean, the sentence from the book. um Something about walking or running. Ari, It is aru, running. Aru. Hashiru. Hashi. 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 This is not a hashi chopsticks, but a hashi. Hashiru, yes. Hashiru. Hashite beneto ni. Hashite beneto ni. Oi. Oi. Sute. Oi. Sute. Hai. やつらぎてえと戻った。あかいた。あかいんかえる。かえた。Same meaning as もどる in English, but かえる specifically is used with homes. えっとかえた。うん。Why is the to behind the e? So, e to you can combine together. Doesn't change the meaning, it's just e. But to is saying, I'm underlining this e. That's all it's really doing. I see. So, here, Khan is saying that he's returned to Yatsuragi te.、Um, What did he do before he returned to Yatsuragi te? He chased it, he, he caught up. How did he catch up with Bennett? Did he walk to do it? He hashite. He ran. Why? And then he caught up. And then he returned. Three verbs. Right. Exactly. And why is there a te with a comma here and a te without a comma there? So the te. The first te means that he caught up by running. So he caught、Aye. up as he was、yep. running. So it's together, simultaneous actions. The comma here means an ordering. So 
he caught up first, then he arrives. Perfect. Then Nice. he caught that. Do you know how to read this word? Not caught that. It's caught. So it's caught that. I. Is he how, he how, Uh, he morao. that's a good guess. It does look a lot like cut out. This is te tsu dao. Te tsu dao. Mm -hmm. um, Tetsu. Yes, this means to Dao. help somebody. Te tsu dao. Te tsu. Well, to give a hand. Te tsu Yes. dao. Te tsu dao no da. Right. Yep, it says, um, Bennett. Pacific says, go with Bennett to the city. Bennett, he's because he's going to buy a bunch of things that are needed, help him with carrying things. To thou. That's about... Can you read this word for me? Chi, chi ga shi. It does start with chi. This guy right here, which is ue, um, by itself, is pronounced as ka when it's married. Do you know what a chika is? Honey, ue? Ue? Is it above or below? Oh, you're right. Shita. Is I'm it sorry. sita? This is shita. Unmarried. When it's married, it's ka. I'm sorry. Ue, married is jo. It's ka. So it's sorry. chika. Shita, shita turns into ka when it gets married. This is a married couple. They are not dating. Chika. So it's chi. 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 Ka. You know what a chica is? It's a tunnel. Uh, very close to the tunnel. It is um under the ground, which a tunnel can be under the ground. But chica is more likely, I believe, to refer to a basement. Um, Like it can. It just means something underground, right? So it could be a tunnel, right? It could be the subway or something. But it has to be under the ground. So here it says um, under the ground of the mansion, there is something happening. Contextually, it's saying in the basement, uh, but it just means under. It doesn't mean basement on its own. So in this context, it is going to be referring to the tunnel, right? Chika no tunneru, the underground tunnel. Um, but it doesn't have to be tunnel. How do you read this word? One. Hi. The uh tetsudao. um i have a question about the the one with the mansion word this is a different mansion word again yes this is yashiki versus um yashiki. these are the Yashiki. two words that mean mansion yashiki includes the house but it also is referring to like the grassy fields in front of it and the fence That you put around your house. So yashiki is actually the word estate. Well, teitaku is only referring to the building. That is the difference. Yashiki. So most I... of the time they can be used interchangeably. Um, as if you're in the yashiki, you're probably inside of the teitaku. But there are times when you can't use teitaku, when you can use yashiki, because teitaku. Cannot refer to the outside area. Keitaku is only the building, not the property in which the building resides on. So here it could say Keitaku no Chika. That'd be fine. It would be right underneath the mansion. But here it's saying underneath the estate because perhaps this underground area, this room might be bigger than the house. We don't know for sure. He's not specifying if it is or not. But somewhere underneath the state is this underground location. So it's not have to be limited to directly underneath the building. It can be over here, like where the well is or whatever. Right? It could, could have a whole secret tunnel thing going on. But yeah, yeah, shiki. Um, shiki means to cover. So it's the house that covers your land, I guess. state um can you read this word for me hey oh she it's not oh she no you're right te oh she hand push te oh she guruma o perfect i also 
also funny, huh? How this one has kanji and this one doesn't. Ah, it's the same kanji. Um, let's go read this line. It's probably our last line of the day. Chika no tonel kara from the tunnel beneath. Natsuni awegaru agaru kaidan dewa veneto o tetsudatte te oshiguruma o oshita from below from the tunnel below at the uh, stairs that uh, lead up to the that lead up to the inlets the island uh, I help Bennett I give a hand to Bennett and I pushes the cart perfect so perfect. it's not Anne it's, it's like I help him by mm. pushing the cart. Yeah, you could translate that way. It is confusing because English, we only really have that one and word. Well, in Japanese, they have the 10 different and words that have different feelings. So by is probably more accurate for kind of expressing the idea than and. Since and is a little bit more vague as did I help him and then do it, or did I do both? But and in English does allow for both interpretations, which the Japanese version does the comma for the two different versions. So if they're talking out loud, it's also ambiguous, kind of like the there's in English, right? There's there, there, and there. They're, they have three different meanings, but when you say them out loud, they're all the same. They're just how they're spelled tells you what the different meanings. So they're, they're, whether or not you have a te or no te is just some um, politeness. Uh, <laughs> this is just the writing system for ease of understanding. But in spoken language, it doesn't really make a difference. So it's a lot like the word and in English, as maybe if you put a comma before the and that would help show. I don't know if that's grammarly correct. Oh, don't be a grammar. I don't know English very well. It's a hard language to write with. Uh, but I think that it, that would insinuate a slightly different meaning, right? Than if there was no and. So the, so yeah, the, why this is more clear, but it, and is perfectly fine. Um, Hi. any questions before we go?